What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about a lot of people in the community being upset, concerned, disappointed, whatever you want to call it, about Battlefield 2042 getting delayed. And a lot of other people in the community are concerned that the game is just not going to be ready in time. Now we do know, of course, the game was supposed to come out at the end of October. That has now been pushed more towards the middle to the end of November. Uh, and a lot of people are saying, you know, the game is not in a good state. You look at Battlefield 5, you look at some other past Battlefield games that got delayed when they were released. They were still really in really bad shape. And in my opinion, it's, it's not a good thing that you have to delay a game, but I can definitely understand it in the circumstances going on in the world. Yes, DICE and EA have had uh, three years to make Battlefield 2042, but at the same time, the majority of the time that they've been working on this game, most of the developers have been working from home. So I'm sure it's really hard to make a game nowadays working from home. And that's how pretty much every game that we've experienced in the last year or so, uh, or things that are coming out this year, have been pretty much made from home. So we can expect some issues uh, kind of when it comes to that. I do think EA and DICE could have handled the situation a little bit better of how the game has kind of not really been hopped up as much as I thought it would. After we got the original trailer that you're seeing here in the background, the game really wasn't hopped up that much. We haven't had a lot of info. We've had a little bit of, you know, info here or there, some leaks, that kind of thing. But DICE and EA on the marketing side have not been really doing a great job in my opinion. But at the same time, they may have just decided not to really hype it up yet because they, are, they knew that it was going to go ahead and get delayed. They, of course, they probably knew that for a while now. In my opinion, if the game is in a really bad state, I've talked about this in the past uh, or in past videos, I think it probably needs to be delayed even longer. I would not be, you know, unhappy if they said, we're going to delay it till January or February. Now, yes, I'd be disappointed we don't get to play it until then. But at the same time, I will be happier for a game to come out that is in a good working state than something, let's take for an example, of how Battlefield 4 was in the first couple months that it was released. So... While, yes, I'm disappointed that we're not going to play this game, you know, in October, I was really looking forward to it. I'm really hoping that the game is in a really good state from the get-go, so we don't have to have update after update after update for weeks and months to try to get the game in a good working order. Now, most players, like I said, are probably going to be upset with it, probably kind of worried about it, and I do understand that. A lot of people are going to think back to the several Battlefield titles we've had in the past, from Battlefield Hardline to Battlefield 1 to Battlefield 5, and a lot of people have not enjoyed those games. They've been broken, they've had issues, whatever the case may be. But at the same time, I think a lot of it's going to depend on the beta. Once we get our hands on the beta, we'll be able to see what kind of state the game is in. And I think that's going to play a big part in it, and I've talked about this in past videos as well. If the beta actually plays well and has, you know, its normal kind of beta bugs and issues, I think that's going to be really good for the game. But if the beta is released and it is in a broken state, I think that could really hurt the community as a whole and really probably turn a lot of the players off from even purchasing the game, even though it has been delayed by a month. I think there's a lot riding on that beta. I think that beta is really going to be the deciding factor of kind of how Battlefield's future is set up. I mean, if it's a good beta and Battlefield 2042 comes out and people enjoy it and it doesn't have a lot of problems, that's going to be good for EA and DICE. But with all the issues they've had over the last several years, and of course we don't get a Battlefield game every year, it's every two or three uh, years, I think if you have a, a really bad beta and it makes a lot of people kind of hesitant to buy the game when it is released, that could really be a, a factor in what DICE and EA do going forward. It could really be detrimental to the franchise in general because it was such a good game, such an enjoyable game for so many years, and a lot of the fan base has left. A lot of people went and played uh, Modern Warfare 2019 because they just didn't enjoy Battlefield 5. And it's going to be hard to get a lot of that player base back considering now a lot of people have new gen consoles. A lot of people have gaming PCs. And there's a lot of other things out there they can play. And they really don't want to have to wait around on a decent Battlefield game again. And if it's not this year, who, when will it be? So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.